saves lives at 3.30 in the morning for people. This is what the last time Stephen Furtick ever talked about abortion. Because we have not been converted. We have not been reconciled to God. You can't nitpick everything every single person does. Jesus Christ is the propitiation for our sins, but all these people are saying, we're picking his nuts through Stephen. Not, we didn't come here to hear that guy. Would you mind telling me, like, do, that, do you think that you uh, are born again and have eternal life? Yes. Would you mind if I asked you, like, if you were to die today, God, you know, God forbid, stand before God and he says, uh, hey, why, why should I let you into eternal life? You ever thought about what you might say if you if you were asked that question? Between me and God. Says, oh Lord, yeah. What would you say to him? Your law. Be between I me and God. On a oh, it is. But what would you say? It'd be between me and God. According to the Christ well, God is standing right there. That guy's slandering His law can our be homie here. To all of you people I just don't you're think you're listening. You're doing it at the entrance and you're doing it at the gate. You're not even listening. So yeah, but I hear him talking trash about Stephen. Well, well maybe Stephen deserves it. Maybe Stephen is full of really dark. I'm trying to tell you. Look around and look at all these people. Who paid 50 How bucks to go see him. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with that? Because, because they're funding Stephen Furtick's $1,000 tennis shoes. We came to be here for Stephen. Stephen's a millionaire. That's he made money, money off the Mac. Money, money don't matter. matter. It's plenty of millionaires. It wasn't bothering bother you enough. It wasn't bothering you. It really bothers me because Stephen Furtick personally saved my life. And this dude's out here. You can't save anybody. He's not God. Well, hold on a second. You don't know what he's saying. He's a deliverer of the word, bro. If we are coming to one who what lives in God, so what would you what would you tell He's God? Deliver the word, man. You know, and we need that word delivered guilt. in many ways and in every way that we can get it. Any way that it'll reach people, any way that it'll hit their home, that's what we need to do. That's what Stephen's doing, and that's what you can see Stephen's doing. That's why you can see the traffic jam. That's why you can see all these cars. That's why you can see all these people here. That's why you can see everybody falling. He's a good marketer. That's why we see it. No, it's because he'd be saving lives. He's an influential real, person because he's a marketer yeah, and he's entertainer. He's the word of Jesus Christ. Well, it's it's you fake though. No, he doesn't keep. Ain't, ain't nothing fake about that, bro. I don't ain't think nothing really fake about Stephen Furtick. I don't think you're really listening. Nothing. I'm not listening. listening. Oh, How much do his shoes cost? Don't matter. You guys are looking at the wrong stuff. It don't matter. Lord don't care about that. Lord says, let me deliver the message in any way possible. You think he needs to walk around in non-name brand shoes and that makes a difference? No, it doesn't make a difference Don't you think that there's, at all. there's a difference between like Look, non-name man, how brand and You know how much money it costs for me to do my job? Nope. And you're worried about a preacher sitting there in a pair of tennis shoes? That's what are those part of his job? With? A dude talking about Wait, his tennis shoes? Doesn't the preacher just need his Bible and, you know, call it good? Right? Yeah. Turn to Jesus Christ, my friend. He can save your soul. 